Welcome to my inner sanctum. I have many tales to tell. Terrible tales of things to come. Tales so terrible, you should put your children to bed or watch something else. If you are old enough to know better, you would understand why graveside services should only be held during the day. For you younger folks, I'll extend the courtesy of telling you that it's dark and you don't want to trip and fall into the grave. You might never be found again. This is a special graveside service with a preferred dark of night venue. Totally <laughs> epic. This is That's definitely the Gipper. You gotta be kidding me. Why hasn't the trickle down started yet? If you don't start spreading the wealth, you won't live much longer to enjoy it. My trickle-down economics theory was a promise of generosity to the people. Now the promise is broken and the people have no choice but to take your wealth from you forcibly. Greed is suicide. Good evening and welcome to The 1% Show. Tonight we have a full nest of one percenters with us to discuss how we are to deal with the unwashed masses. Let's start with Cassie. How are you? I'm doing well, considering I almost lost a heel, stepping over a slag at protester, chained to the front door. Luckily I was wearing my sharpened stiletto heels and he screamed like a bitch. It was awesome. I saw the cops grab him so we can go out the way we came in today. It's sad being a one percenter sometimes because we must prescribe beatings to those people. Shock troops are expensive. Oh stop complaining, you love it. Ha ha ha. This is going to be fun. We will have much more to tell about beatings and shock troops after these words from our sponsors. Ich bin ein Zimmersch, ich will nur gehen zur Schweiz ein Frau Luins zu Kraukenhaus. What language is the robot speaking? I don't know, but you better not mess with the robot. Sich noch Teile Geld sabt, den Formen noch bitte glut glut. Man, this is weird. I don't know if I'm supposed to laugh or cry. This must be a first experience with Starnduk tragedy. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed robot tragedy. Laughing out loud. You had a revolt against the British government, but that did nothing to undermine the power of the East India Company. Wait a minute. The East India Company was dissolved in 1874. The company men were transferred to the authority of India under British rule, which meant the formal laws of Great Britain no longer applied, and a certain duke would begin the arduous task of preparing for a war that would ultimately eliminate competing members of the British royal family in World War I. Wow. I wondered why it was so strange that a world war would start just because a guy was assassinated. So what you're saying is that a private company can overthrow a small country and become its own sovereign state with all its own laws, then let American corporations into their borders to do whatever they want? I can't believe you Americans took this long to figure it out. Your corporations are outsourcing to developing countries so they can build oligarchies that will ultimately enslave you. No. I don't buy that. We have democracy here. We elect our lawmakers. Are you serious? Or are you just giving me shit? When you vote for your candidates? How do you choose your candidates? I haven't really thought about that. I guess the candidates circulate petitions and if they get enough signatures to get on the ballot, they campaign for the election. What does it take for them to get recognized by the public so they can get enough signatures? Well, I guess it takes money. Precisely. The power is the money. Not to get selected. Politics is nothing more than its own religion. A dramatic theatrical experience, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. We have been making very successful intrusions into American political control. Eric, why don't you brief us on the improvement of money flow? Thank you. As you can see by this chart, the Supreme Court has ruled in favor of Citizens United, making it possible to completely bypass corporate lobbyists and simply purchase influence through shell political action committees. This will of course cut out the lobbyists and cause staff layoffs. That is right, Ken. If you have not already repositioned your political patrons, you may wind up losing a few contributors. What is our strategy for the weeks just prior to the election? As we did right after the 2008 election, we will put out the word through corporate channels to once again cause massive job layoffs again. I will make sure the mainstream media puts a sock in it. I will make sure the chambers of commerce and the JCs are notified all the way down to the city levels to start laying off as many workers as possible. The sudden drop in tax revenue will send cities and towns into a tailspin. Municipal bond ratings will plummet, and government union pension funds will be surrendered in bankruptcy proceedings. Indeed, this chain of events will trigger the downfall of government as we have come to hate it so. 
The public will blame the president and the 1% will finally become kings of their domain among the filthy unwashed peasants. Thanks for meeting at this odd hour but discretion is absolutely critical for what I am about to tell you. The 1% has passed along to me a stroke of such genius that if we manage to pull it off without being noticed, we will be able to do this over and over again. I have been asked, no. I have been ordered to tell you to start firing employees again. I know it will be hard, but if we can get Obama out of office and finally take over the Senate, the next 50 years will be dominated by a conservative Supreme Court. We are going to need to use the Postal Service for this because Anonymous might hack into our emails. Schedule an off-site team building meeting sponsored by an outside human resources company then tell them our hands were tied when you close up shop. It keeps the violence to a minimum. We still have a few weeks, if we trickle the layoffs at a slow pace they might not question our reasons. Oh, to hell with that. Just hire a temporary security force and call the cops too. We want the employees pissed at the current administration. Are the Pinkertons still in business? Well it's not like the workers are going to form another union is it? The copiers and the mail sorting equipment is heated up and standing by. Just make absolutely sure that none of the documents are left on any of the copiers or other machines. There should be no scrap of paper floating about that is not in an envelope ready to be mailed tomorrow morning. That is all. <laughs> How are you doing today? Find everything alright? I'm doing fine. I would however like to speak to your manager. Oh. The manager called and said he would be late again today. I am capable enough to handle any situation. I'll be happy to help you. Superlative skills young fellow. I am from the corporate office and I had some proprietary information to pass along to the current manager. Since he is not here I will make you the interim manager and fire his ass immediately. Well, it's about time. I was doing his job every day for the last quarter. What do I get for being made an official manager? That's official interim manager. You will have the glorious duty of closing this store immediately and firing your boss. Then I also must let you go. That sucks, but at the same time it's a totally awesome improvement to my resume. I just happen to have in my possession a form of proof for just your situation. Take some time off and travel. I'm going to pull the plug on my rent, my utilities, and sell my car. I have a friend who lives in Tent City. I can crash there for a while. This could not have developed so perfectly to ruin city governments. I don't think they are paying attention anymore. I doubt they ever were. Maybe we don't need to keep up the facade and we can finally get around to business. We can't stop politicking because it's such a huge part of the cash flow. If there was a way to shorten this circus without reducing the amount of money we get I'm all for it. It won't be much longer before everyone turns the channel and votes only on name recognition. Then we will be accepted into the warm embrace of our rich masters. Say, that reminds me. Do you have your ticket out of here? Jude, you so busted. Your mics were on. Are those Robin's Unix? Yes sir, they have been sanitized for Robin's use. Dude, what is a Unix? I don't know dude. Don't worry about it. Ken, shut up. Those two boys look like hardcore sports fans. They are icons of sports marketing. Representative of every kid who goaded their parents into spending tons of money on a sports superstar and scholarship pipe dream. I doubt they ever thought to ask what percent of people who wanted to be like Michael Jordan actually became like Michael Jordan. I saw you come in with those people, are you related? Unfortunately, yes. They openly talk about people around them loud enough for everyone to hear because they are totally fearless. It's a security risk. It must bother you that they are so arrogant and think they are right all the time. Well, we are the 1%. We are arrogant because we actually are right all the time. That makes me sick to my stomach, yet at the same time it really turns me on. It looks like Eric is hooking up with Hardy from the working class. I don't know what has gotten into him but at least he is not a sycophant brown noser. Exactly. Wait, what? Ken, maybe you should not kiss his butt so much. Dude, I was so close to that UCLA baseball scholarship. Dude, my dad was so disappointed. Dude. I wonder if this was a mistake. Do you mean coming here or do you mean making what we do seem so easy that people overexert themselves and go into debt trying to be like us? What was it Caesar said about bread and circuses? To appease the masses. Who could have imagined the fun we have taking money from the masses? If I had a decent paying job I would have more money to spend on nice things. Maybe you could become a job creator. Just go to the bank and get a loan. You cannot do that without collateral equity to turn over to the bank when the venture fails. Do what to what now? Never mind. Boys I'm getting an itch. Are you ready to start working off your debts? Sure babe. Awesome. 